Good morning and welcome to 5-Minute Mondays. It is Monday, April 18th, 2022. And as you can see, Dr. Bray already has our dashboard up. So Dr. Bray, take it away. Hey, good morning, Danny. Uh, more continued, same old, same old. We're in this sort of new normal right now. Um, as you can see, statewide, we have uh, 93 deaths in the last seven days. We're down 61% from the week before. So again, things seem to be progressing in the right direction. Let's take a look at Dallas County specifically. Uh, Dallas County, notice that uh, we remember last week we talked about that artifact of weird reporting that came from Johns Hopkins. They gave us 14,000 cases on a Saturday. Well, this Saturday, we didn't have 14,000 cases. So they show us down 12,000 cases. Again, an aberration in the way the data is being reported by our data source. Um, we're not actually down 194%. Uh, we are down, um, but we're probably down in the neighborhood of 10 to 15% like we are with uh, a number of our other indicators. Um, we're still not seeing an impact of BA2. That is this idea that, um, uh, that what we saw in Europe with a surge prompted by BA2. BA2 is now a little over half of the cases that we see in, in, the, uh, in the South right now and we're not seeing the big spikes. Again, we may be seeing some elevated case numbers, but we're not seeing hospitalizations. Hospitalizations are at an all-time low right now. So we continue to be in a good place, but we need to continue to be vigilant. This is still an active virus that is active in our community and is still mutating. So uh, as long as it's present, it will be mutating, and we run the risk that one of those mutations could be dangerous. So we need to still be vigilant. Thank you, Dr. Bray. And can you tell me, um, are we, in terms of the BA2 and comparing it to um, uh, the European countries, are we kind of past the point of knowing if there would be a spike or not? Or are we still kind of so waiting? I think the jury is still out, although a number of the jurors are leaning towards it's not going to happen the way it happened in Europe. Um, part of the thought behind that is BA1 was so rampant in our community um, that we had it, it just burned through the community so fast. You're less likely to get BA2 if you had BA1. And a number of folks had BA1 and may not have even known it because their symptoms were so mild. So um, it's looking like we're not going to see that spike, but we are still, I would say, cautiously optimistic. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Bray. All good news. And we will see you next week on 5-Minute Mondays. Thanks, Danny.